National Kindergarten Day. Get out your crayons and your flashcards. It's April 21st and it's time for National Kindergarten Day. April 21st is the birthday of the German educator Friedrich Frobel, who founded the first play and activity institute called Kindergarten in 1837. Kindergarten is actually a mid-19th century German word literally meaning children's garden. According to Frobel, young children should follow their own interests and freely explore them. That's why kindergartens include singing, dancing, and creative play. Friedrich Frobel's idea was considered so unorthodox that the Prussian government banned it for some time. However, the idea spread to Europe and the rest of the world. Did you know that in 1892, followers of Frobel established a college of teacher education in London to continue his traditions? In 1965, President Johnson's War on Poverty led to the Head Start program, designed to help communities meet the needs of disadvantaged preschool children. Every year, about 3.5 million students enroll in kindergarten. Nearly all states require school districts to provide some form of kindergarten, but only 18 states require that students attend. Kids in most states start kindergarten at the age of five. New York, New Jersey, Wisconsin, and Pennsylvania will admit certain students before their fifth birthday. In Michigan, I was admitted to kindergarten when I was only four years old. Oh no! The three ideals of Friedrich Frobel still hold true today. When our children enter kindergarten, we try to promote their creativity, fuel their curiosity, and foster their independence. Happy National Kindergarten Day, everyone! Thank you for listening today. My name is Kevin. Welcome to my channel, Everything Kevin. If you like this video, please press like below. If you'd like to see more, please press subscribe. Take it easy, man.